Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley and thank you so much for allowing me to join you on your journey today. So in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing how to come out of the broom closet, how I personally came out of the broom closet. But before we get into it, don't forget to click like and subscribe to join our tribe. I post spiritual content all the time, so click subscribe to join our tribe. I also have a Patreon, starts at five bucks a month, and you get exclusive offers that are not talked about or seen on any of my other social media platforms so go on ahead and check out the link in the description box below to my patreon as well as a link to my instagram go on ahead and follow me there but without further ado let's get into this topic how to get out of the broom closet so what exactly is coming out of the broom closet well just like how lgbtq plus people come out of the closet tell them tell the world their sexuality a lot of witches are in the closet too you watching this, you may be a witch or a spiritual being that is in the closet that no one knows that you are this way. I remember when I was in the broom closet, I remember I discovered my past. I started off with witchcraft back in high school. I was a freshman in high school and I was closeted for a very long time. Only a small select group of people knew for sure that I was a witch, that I was practicing witchcraft. I'm sure other people had inferences, but they didn't know. And my family didn't know either until later but coming out of the broom closet can be very scary and it can seem like i don't really know what to do i don't know if i should say something and i just want to go on ahead and give you kind of a rough outline of how you could come out of the broom closet um this is the way i did it so it worked for me so i'm just going to share that with y'all on how to come out but i just wanted to talk about what is coming out of the broom closet okay so let's get into how to so step one of any coming out, whether you are LGBTQ+, or you're a witch, make sure it is safe for you to do so. If your environment is not safe, do not do it. If you feel that if you come out of the broom closet and you feel like your life will be in danger, do not come out, do not. Like, I'm sorry, there's a difference between hiding yourself because you're scared of what others will think and hiding yourself because of danger, okay? Please, if you are going to be in danger, if you share this information with people, do not share it. I wanna stress this enough. You should only be telling people who you trust and who love you, okay? If it is not, like don't be going and telling everyone you're a witch because that's gonna start issues for you. I, I guarantee you it'll start issues because even though the world is becoming more spiritually open, it's not there yet. It's not 100% there yet. So you really need to make sure you are safe. If you are going to be in an environment where it is not safe for you to announce to the world that you're a witch or that you're a spiritual being, do not do it. Only tell people you trust and that you are close with because even then it's still scary to do so. So please, 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 please be safe. Next step is after you have told people that you trust and you love, and they, they have that same energy back for you, next is to know your shit. If you are going to come out as a witch or as a spiritual being of some type, make sure you know what you're talking about. Make sure you have the research to back up what you're saying. Because I remember I came out as a witch to someone before and they were asking me all these questions and I was like, oh shit, like I don't actually know. I don't know, but I, I feel it. I feel it internally that I am this way, but I don't actually know the research behind it. And it made me look a fool. So make sure you know the research behind it. This goes along with my next point of be prepared for people to ask you really dumb questions. You know, I remember when I came out to my mom out of the broom closet, she was like, you don't worship Satan, right? And I was like, no, I don't worship Satan. But it's like really dumb questions and actually really good questions. So make sure you're prepared. Be prepared for ignorance. It's not always purposeful ignorance. So don't get mad right away. Be the whole point of coming out of the broom closet is to have people become more open-minded. We don't wanna fight them on this. We don't wanna prove ourselves. That's not the purpose of knowing your shit and having the research. The purpose of that is so, it's more so to validate your experience to someone else, which you never have to do by the way. But what I find is when I tell people, hey, I'm a witch, hey, I'm a spiritual being, and they ask me questions and I know my shit and I'm able to tell them exactly what it is, 
They respect me. They understand more. And they're actually interested in it themselves. So when you have the research, the knowledge to back up your emotions, your feelings, your path, it validates you. And I do think that's a little messed up, but it's only because of of the state we're in right now. If you've noticed, if you're a spiritual being or a witchy person, I think you're you're keying in on the whole world kind of in this like weird jive right now of like we're spiritual but also still really against spiritualism you know it's, it's becoming more trendy to be a witch which i have thoughts on i should probably make a video about that because i i like it but i also don't but yes it's very important to know your shit know your research if you are saying i'm a green witch and you tell someone i'm a green witch they're gonna ask you a bunch of fucking questions so I'm not saying that if you feel this way and you don't have the research, you're invalidated. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you feel this way. So not only will this research help prove your point, but it'll also help you understand more about yourself. So my next point is you, you got to give people time. You got to give people time to adjust and to understand who you are. Um, a, a lot of the times, okay, this is what I want to say. A lot of the times, we are, we've been living this life. We've been living life as a witch or as a spiritual person for so long. And it's been a secret. So when we finally come out, we're like, yes, I can finally be open and be myself and everyone's gonna accept me and love me, blah, 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 blah. When in actuality, people gotta digest that. People, okay, my daughter or son is a witch. What do I do with this information? How do I support them? I have so many questions. Are they being safe? Are they doing evil things? Blah, blah, blah. Like your, your family or your friends are gonna have so many questions and so much to digest. It's not normal to come out as a witch. I see it becoming more normal to come out as spiritual or a witch. But especially when I came out, it was not normal to be announcing that you're a witch and shit. So you gotta get people time. You know, and, and understand that they're, they're going to try to support you in ways they think that works. So if they do something offensive, don't get mad. Just say, hey, mom, or hey, dad, or hey, sibling, or friend. Don't say that. That's kind of rude. I'm not mad at you, but it's like this. You know, just give them time to digest and understand. Answer their questions happily. You want people to understand that this is not evil or bad. Give them time to digest and understand this information, okay? It's important for you to live your most authentic life, okay? It's important for you to openly practice. Unless your family says, I don't care, just don't practice in front of me, you know? It's important for you to show your family, look, this is good, this is okay. I'm benefiting myself, I'm benefiting the family. Look, I made this protection jar for the family. Look, I made this little satchet to hang above the door to protect us, you know? like. Really show them this is your life. You're serious. This is not just a face. This is you. This is who you are. This is you awakening your soul. Do that. When they see you cleansing your space, when they see you buy your crystals, when they see you hang up little decorations that remind you of, of your path, it helps them understand more. It helps them realize, oh, this is real. This, what my child or what my friend is doing is real. This is real life for them. Let me understand that more. Let me respect that more. Because when you come out to people who truly love you, truly respect you, truly have your back and you trust them and they trust you, they're going to want to support you. And by you just living your life in this path, it'll really help them understand. So it's very important to live your most authentic life, answer their questions happily. Don't get mad. Don't get mean like blah, blah, blah. Don't get like that. Because they're, they're, they're learning. Unless, you know, unless they're truly being an asshole about it, then, you know, handle that. But don't get mad at them if they're asking genuine questions about your path, okay? Oh, and I just wanted to add, by the way, if you are new to witchcraft in the past, I have tons and tons of videos on my channel about all sorts of topics, about stuff for beginners, spells for beginners, tools for beginners, everything like that. So if you're new to the path and you need some guidance, check out my other videos and subscribe. I have tons of stuff like that. And even if you are a more experienced witch, we always can learn. So make sure you check out my other videos and also my Patreon. You can, one of the tiers, five, to, five bucks a month, you can ask me any kind of personal questions about your path or anything and I answer it. 
Anyways, I just had to do a little bit of self promo, but for real, I have tons of videos on topics that I wish I could have seen when I first started my path. Well, everyone, that concludes my video for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the link to my Patreon and my Instagram down below in the description box. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to join our tribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.